when was the last time you went to England? It's been a while, man. Yeah? I haven't been back since I left. Yeah. You know when you first sign, you put the Arsenal kit on every week and you're just like, wow, like, I'm playing for Arsenal. You tell your friends you're yeah. playing for Arsenal <laughs> and it's still fresh. It's, they're not getting bored of hearing it. A lot of supporters there, they feel like you're one of our own. Um, how does that make you feel? Is that special to you? Yeah, it's really special, I think. Obviously, I know where I came from and they know where I came from and the journey. So, obviously, I think, yeah, as a fan looking from out to in, even when I was watching growing up, when you see like an academy player, mm -hmm. like you want him to do it so well, like especially when, for example, Jack Wilshere was playing, like he's just the one that we all yeah. like, had this special <laughs> heart for. So, yeah. That's Hayley Lynn. I know it when I see it, my Is guy. Is different? Like, they still got the same sign there. Yeah, the floodlights, man. <laughs> it's a couple of balls in this bush, you know. And we're two legends of Halen. <laughs> got Luke and Fer here. How you guys doing? What's it like, you know, to have someone like Bukayo come back and, you know, inspire some of these young guns? So he's an inspiration, you know, as, as a player, but also as a person that is really important to us. There's a part of me feels like it's quite normal because yeah. it's Bukayo. And when we see him at Colney in the canteen, he comes and talks to us because he's just a normal lad. Um, but for the the young boys here, it's so inspirational, right? And for him to be here on a Friday night when we've got games coming on and him wanting to see the kids and see the coaches sums up who he is as a person and a, as a human being. And obviously we're not surprised and he wants to make sure he sticks to his roots. And yeah, we're buzzing to have him here. Yeah, because yeah, as a person, he's, he's, he's really great. Is there anything that, you know, people might not know about him that you guys could maybe shed light to? Well, most people would probably know, but it's probably worth mentioning. I think in his exams, he got five A's and five A stars. Five. So Per's hugely big on one of our pillars, being a lifelong learner and concentrating on your education yeah. and making sure you've got something to fall back on. So on the pitch, absolutely, he's an inspiration and all the kids would look up to that. But it's also important to know that at school, he was very good and very yeah. smart and, you know, his background was a very humble one where they made sure he was very good when he was away at Hare Lens, so he made sure when he was here he could concentrate on his football. Um, so I think that's a big part of him as a person for sure, yeah. I think that plays a major part, you know, how you are as a person, you know, yeah. how you develop that. Otherwise, there are not many chances, you know, yeah. you will get in, in life in general, but as well on the, on the football pitch. Yeah? You need to say hello to his... Do you remember? Oh. Of course! Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Uh, oh, I'm fine, you okay? Really nice to see you, I'm okay. Me too, boy. Wow, it's, it's been years. Is he dead? Is he still eating pasta? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I'm eating now? <laughs> yeah, I'm happy no, to see no. you today. I'm asking with daddy and say, where's my boy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really happy to see you too. Me too. Yeah, it's been years, years. <laughs> wow. What's he doing? <laughs> What's he doing? What's he doing? Is he tucking it in? No, he's not tucking it in. He's not, he's never done that. Never. Don't worry, I remember. Remember. <laughs> oh. Nice to meet you. What position are you? Left back. Left back. You coming in next? Huh? You coming in next quarter? Yeah. yeah. This quarter. Hello, how are you? Good. What's your name? Mason. Mason. Nice to meet you, bro. You guys are cold, no? You guys are cold. Why, you didn't like it, bro? You want to go back? I don't know, we're coming on. Come on. Good luck, good luck. You okay? You okay? Yes. Nice to meet you guys. Goalkeeper. Goalkeeper? Okay. Goal nice. And which position are you? Striker. Striker. Of 
How are you? You okay? How are you? You all right, guys? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> What's you doing what are you say? Can you join Charlton? Nah, nah. Arsenal's in my heart. Too much. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Freddie, it's an absolute pleasure meeting you. Watch you growing up, man. Literally, you're probably one of the first things that I think about when it comes to Arsenal. We're here because Bakayo has made his return to Halen. It's been a while. Um, it must be great, you know, seeing him from a young boy all the way to the first team. You must be so proud. Of course, it's. Uh, but that's what an academy is all about. You want the players that commit to a club that they get the chance to play for the first team, and and he obviously, uh, you know, committed to it, and he. Uh, Great kid, like worked really hard at everything, so I'm so happy for him. When did you, you know, realize that he might be, you know, something special? Um, I think over time, because I challenged him a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kai was quite big, so some coaches would say, oh, he just lives on his power and he's so bigger than everyone else, so it's easier for him. But he understood the principle of learning. And that's when I was like, oh, this kid can see and he listens and he can like learn new things very quickly. That's when I thought, okay, we got something here. It's important for the youngsters to feel when they train every day, and I don't say they sacrifice their lives, but they give up a lot of things. Some of these kids, they travel a long way to get here, rent to get home and sacrifice maybe school and this and that. It's not as easy as people think. So I feel it's, it's nice for them to feel there is a chance to get there. Look at Bakayo, look yeah. at other players that made it, oh, we have a chance. Uh, so it's lovely he comes back and uh, the way I know Bakayo, he's still the same guy and he's so humble and nice and I'm not surprised he's here. Special place in the head. Yeah, it's nice, it's really nice. I always wanted to come back and see like a game, you know. Yeah. Come on, Freddy. Come on, Freddy. <laughs> Let's go. How are you? I'm good. How's it going? Yeah. Wait, so you was playing in the dome? No, he's playing art. Oh, you're playing art? How are you finding it? It's good. It's yeah. good? Yeah? Around the world? Yeah. You do around the world. See, look, he wanted to put the pressure on me. He, he, was, can he can. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know how first impression is, is so important. You know how you come across and how do you want to make you know yourself better about the environment that you're, you're in every single day. And that's what we're trying to create, such an environment where, you know, we we challenge each other, but we, we care for each other as well. And that is based on, you know, how we are as, as individuals. So he's certainly a role model and we're trying to use his example, you know, for many, many others that come through this academy. But it's just great that he naturally, you know, wants to come back to his roots, wants to come back to the place where a lot of people contributed to his development. You know, and that is a good trait that he has created. You know, such a big network around him where he knows that a lot of people had a positive influence on him.